Hi everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com and thank you as always for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. Today I'm talking about the Nespresso Inicia single serve uh, espresso machine. Now, as I said in the intro, this is sort of a budget machine. It's a new entry from Nespresso, but it's a very straightforward budget friendly machine. I'm gonna show you, uh, first of all, of course, what the machine's all about, what comes in the box. We'll talk about operation and everything else you need to know. Let's dive in first and talk about what comes in the box with the Nespresso Inicia. In the box with your Nespresso Inicia, you're going to get the Nespresso Inicia machine itself. You'll get all of your documentation and you'll get a pack of Grand Cru uh, sampler capsules. This will let you try out all the different Grand Cru capsules that you can use with the machine. Of course, to get more, you're typically going to want to join the Nespresso Club. Or as always, check out the link in the description of our video to get some information about how you can get capsules for your Nespresso Inicia. Pretty straightforward, everything that's in the box. Let's talk about the machine itself. Starting at the bottom of the machine, we have, of course, the drip tray. This uh, tray folds up if you want to use a larger mug or tumbler or something like that. It's not really adjustable beyond that. If you remove this tray, this is where your uh, pod receptacle is. This is going to catch all of your spent pods. Typically you're going to be able to catch about 10 spent pods, but I usually say empty it after you've used the machine. It's just better for keeping the machine clean. <laughs> uh, that tray removes really easily as you can see. Moving on up, you have your brew spigot. That's where your coffee is going to come out of. Then you have the handle, which is the same kind of design we've seen very typically on most Nespresso machines. It folds right up and this is where you're going to place your Grand Cru capsule to start brewing your espresso. The handle looks like it's made of plastic, but it is metal, which is good because I've had some times when this gets locked kind of to the point that it's hard to pull up. I'm afraid I would break it, but luckily it's metal, so theoretically I shouldn't. Uh, on top of the machine, you're going to find your two brew buttons, and this is straightforward just as we've seen on most Nespresso machines, single and double shot brew buttons. Those are programmable if you want to brew less, more, and etc. each time you go to brew a shot of espresso. And then on the back, you'll have your water tank, 27 ounce water tank, not too big, but big enough that you shouldn't have to refill it every single time you use the machine. That's the machine itself, very straightforward. There's actually no power button on this machine, also is something I should mention. The machine will turn itself off after about nine minutes of non-activity, and then in order to turn it back on, you can just simply press one of those brew buttons on the top. They will blink until the machine is ready to brew. That's the machine itself. Let's show you how we can brew using the Nespresso Inicia. Brewing with the Inicia is very simple, just as it is with all the Nespresso machines. You're going to select a Grand Cru capsule, open up the brew receptacle on the machine, drop your pod in, and then close up the machine. Select your mug. I have just a standard double shot right here. And then you're going to go ahead and brew your shot. We're going to measure the temperature as we brew here today. We are looking at about 180 degrees, exactly 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too bad, nice and hot. Um, you know, that's more than hot enough for your average uh, brew that you're gonna be making with an at-home single-serve espresso machine. And it's a good looking shot of espresso. You got a nice crema there. I had a good amount of layering happening as I was brewing and now it's kind of settled. I have my crema and then I have my coffee itself. As always, the flavor from uh, this machine, pretty impressive. I've never really been let down by any of the Nespresso machines when it comes to the flavor of the machine. Uh, ultimately, of course, it's gonna depend on what you like out of your machine. You're gonna to wanna to select a Grand Cru that matches your flavor profile because there are a lot of different uh, flavor profiles. You can actually check out a lot of information about these capsules on aromacup.com. And uh, that's how easy brewing is. Now when you're done, you can simply open up the brew spigot and you'll drop that spent capsule in. I should note real quickly that you usually want to wait a few seconds after you've stopped brewing because there's going to be a little bit of drippage happening. And you know, you may have seen even when I open up here, I get a little bit of drippage. And that's something I've seen on some of these machines. I'm seeing it with this one. You just need to give it a little time for that last bit of liquid to drip down. And then you're good to uh, open it up and brew yet another shot. And that's how easy it is to brew with an Espresso Inicia machine. What are you going to pay for the Nespresso Inicia? Where well, you're looking at about $99. So as I say, it's more of a budget-friendly machine from Nespresso. Now this machine only brews espresso, keep that in mind. 
Uh, it's not really for brewing standard coffee. You could, of course, always make an Americano using this machine, and you can make a lot of other different espresso drinks, especially if you add an option like a, uh, an espresso arrochino or something like that to your own at-home coffee shop. So you do have good flexibility when it comes to beverages. Just remember that primarily all this machine makes is espresso. Now, of course, where are you gonna find out how to buy the Nespresso Anisia? Check out the link in the description of our video. We'll point you in the right direction and get you the best possible price and uh, make it easy for you to add this to your own at-home coffee shop. And what's my bottom line with the Nespresso Inicia coming to you from Nespresso? As I say, it's a new machine, it's budget friendly, which is great. Uh, for those of you who might be looking at adding a espresso machine, a single serve espresso machine to your own at-home coffee shop, I think it's really nice to have an option such as this that's not too expensive, not gonna break the bank, but still give you a nice strong shot of espresso and do it very quickly and easily. Uh, I'm not nuts about uh, the drippage that comes from the brew spigot. Uh, I don't know if that's a design uh, flaw of any kind or anything like that. I don't think that's really the case. I think it just simply drips a little bit, but it's not a big deal at all. Overall, very great little machine, as I uh, should really point out, very little. Gonna fit on a, a uh, countertop very easily. And a cool little machine uh, for an at-home coffee shop. So there you go guys, that's the Nespresso Inicia single serve espresso machine coming to you from Nespresso. And as always, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. If you have questions, comments, or anything else you'd like to add to this video, feel free to leave it right here on the description of this video or visit us on aromacup.com. Thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time, I wanna ask you to enjoy your cup and I'll see you next time. Take care.